doesn't always have to be boring. That's what Bishop Smith's Trisha Schroeder proves during a co-learning event between her grade 9 students and Holy Names grade 2-3 class. She even brought in a few special guests from the Junior A Pembroke Lumber Kings. Forwards Chris Minns and Justin Feliber took part in the day. We invited the Pembroke Lumber Kings, two Pembroke Lumber Kings, Chris Minns and Justin Feliber, to come to Bishop Smith to work with the grade nine students and the grade two, three students from Holy Name. We posed a challenge to see who was the best athlete. Um, they did push-ups, sit-ups, uh, basketball throws, um, running stairs, and uh, after we crunched some numbers, uh, the overall winner was Justin. He scored a .3 uh, percent higher than Chris after it was all calculated um, and the grade twos threes worked with my grade nines to analyze the data and learn about fractions and decimals. And of course the grade two threes were very excited to come to the high school and be part of the atmosphere there and there was still a lot of learning going on with some help from the guys. For me, it's fostering a little bit of the community involvement with the Lumber Kings, uh, trying to show the kids that math can be fun, the real life application of math, uh, kind of bridging the gap between you know the senior students in grade nine compared to the grade twos and threes. And of course, Justin and Chris have been fantastic. They just said whatever they want me to do, whatever I want them to do, they'll do. Uh, they're always very eager to um, be involved. They came with my students last year, so it seems like it's a very um, nice thing to have them with the kids. You saw how excited the kids were to have them in the room um, and it's just great to bridge the gap between the ages of the students and the community and um, math class. Starting off with some fitness tests and finishing up with some number crunching and autograph signing, the day was definitely more fun than most of the classes I had in school. Megan Evans, TV Kojiko News, Pembroke.